So the the talks that really struck me and 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 stick with me for for a long time are those that I see pieces of of my story and my trajectory uh, reflecting back at me from from these people that I admire, and and largely this is super important to me in particular because my my path hasn't necessarily been the most linear getting to where I am. I started out as a mathematician and and then I dabbled in both both biology and physics before landing in an area of biophysics which is is largely underrepresented. So it, I don't I don't work on molecular scale problems alone. I I work kind of across scales and in, including uh, organismal biophysics. And so when I hear uh, stories from people who had similarly meandering paths or um, are applying physics and mathematical principles to understand aspects of the world, which maybe we're not uh, used to hearing about as much, those are really inspiring to me. So for instance, you know, Simon Sponberg uh, started out in physics, uh, did his PhD in biology and then ended up again in a physics department as a faculty member working on, on problems in, in animal locomotion. And he, he talked a lot about his you know, various inspirations and it, it's a huge, huge range of things ranging from his father who was a Buddhist studies professor to his wife who's a paleontologist. And these kind of varied and diverse uh, inspirations have kind of shaped who he is today as an interdisciplinary scientist, and, and this is this is something that's that's really um, inspiring to hear about. Um, similarly, Danny Bassett started out uh, wanting to be a concert pianist before going to nursing school, and and then realizing that the root of her her love of science was was in physics. And now she she applies that love of physics and the the love of kind of mathematical rigor to understand the biology of the mind. Um, and I I recommend that you all go back and, and watch both of these talks because they're fantastic. Um, and then of course, you know, when, when you think about these uh, very uh, broad-minded uh, people who are working on a huge range of things and applying physics to a, a broad diversity of lines of inquiry, you have to think about also Manu Prakash's talk and, and Maha's talk, both of whom were, were fantastic and, and inspiring. And again, highly, highly recommended.